Hello everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back for another vlog. Today's video is actually gonna be a little bit exciting because I am making a very big decision. I'm gonna be completely reorganizing and revamping my nail polish drawers. So this is actually kind of embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. I am currently in a situation where my drawers, my nail polish drawers are looking absolutely terrible. And it's something that honestly has been going on for a while. So just for a little bit of background, if you haven't watched my previous videos about my nail polish organization, I have these drawers that I use that are called Melmers. That's not like the official name of it, but basically there is an Ikea brand drawer that's called the Helmer that a lot of people use for their nail polish storage. And the store Michaels, the craft store, has like a cheaper version of it that they call a Melmer. So I ended up buying a ton of Melmers and and that's what I have been storing my nail polishes in. I have actually had these drawers for a really long time. They've gone through several moves. They've gone to multiple states before. They are in really bad shape and I made a decision a while ago to buy some new ones and get rid of the old ones that are kind of falling apart, but I realized that Michaels doesn't sell those anymore. And I wasn't able to find them on eBay either, so I actually went to Ikea. Well, I didn't physically go. I actually got them delivered. <laughs> but I did finally give in and I got real Ikea Helmers. So I'm going to show you why in a minute. Once you see the drawers, you're going to realize like, okay, these are definitely beat up. I first got them when I lived in New Jersey in an apartment. Then they briefly moved to my parents' house. Then they moved down to Georgia with me when I lived in Georgia. Then they moved back up from Georgia back to my parents' house. Then they moved to a new apartment with me. And then they moved to this apartment. These drawers have been through a lot. They have lived for many, many years and honestly, they've served me well. I think in my most recent video where I was showing my nail polish organization on my main channel, I think I said I wouldn't necessarily recommend them if you're like moving around too much because every time I've moved them, I've noticed them like fall apart a little bit more. So they're finally at a point. I thought that it was just because they were like overflowing. So I started doing a declutter. I got rid of a bunch of nail polishes and then when I tried to organize them, I realized that the drawers just aren't working anymore. The screws are so loose and like stripped that I can't tighten them anymore and the bottoms of the drawers are just falling out. So I really cannot use these. I think I have honestly run them into the ground and use them to the best of my ability but I'm going to show you what we're working with and then you'll probably realize why this is a necessary change and then I'll show you the Helmers that I ordered which I honestly can't believe that I got these. I also can't believe that I got them delivered and I didn't even check in Ikea what they look like in real life because I've never seen them before. I just trusted the judgment of all the nail artists who have Helmers. But honestly, there is no Ikea near me. It is so far away. And honestly, it, it would have been such a huge inconvenience to get a bunch of them. I actually feel like I did miss an opportunity to get the delicious Ikea meatballs, but that's okay. Because honestly, I'm just very grateful they were delivered. I actually, they have two different delivery options. One is to your home slash building, and then you carry it upstairs, which I was very willing to do. And then they have one that's more expensive expensive where they bring it directly to the room that you need the drawers to be in or whatever you ordered. So I actually ordered it just to my building and I was going to go downstairs and get them but the delivery guys were super nice. They actually brought them up to the apartment too which was really great. So I ended up just tipping them the difference of the cost of that. Honestly I feel like it was worth it though because then the money went to them. But yeah anyway I'm just rambling now so let me show you. This is a much overdue overhaul and I think it'll also just help me be a little bit more organized. I'm such a a person who loves to keep things very neat and orderly and they really haven't been neat and orderly in my life for a little while now. This is hopefully just another step towards fixing that. But yeah, let me show you guys the drawers. Oh my gosh, this is so shameful. <laughs> okay, so if you've watched my videos where I show you my organization, they don't usually, well, I was gonna say they don't usually look like this, but honestly, they've been looking like this for a while. I actually have a box down here that's just full of nail polishes that don't fit in the drawers. You can see this one. I literally have tried fixing it so many times and it just it's not there anymore. The bottom is falling out, so I have to keep this bottom drawer open so that all of my ore leaves don't just completely collapse. Most of the drawers that are open are in a similar situation where it's just the bottom is not in it anymore. You can see there are some parts where I have taped them. I accidentally put some tape that I used for a manicure that I was stamping, so that's also fun. But I feel like, honestly, I think these drawers could get more use out of them for things that aren't as heavy as nail polish. I think that's probably a lot of the reason. And there are some that are doing a little bit better than others. So I might be able to put together like one drawer 
worth of working drawers. So uh, maybe I'll be able to do that. But yeah, basically it's just not a great situation. And also up here, there's just so much stuff that just I can't fit in the drawers. I wanted to get another set of drawers so that I could, you know, put everything away and then have everything, you know, close nicely. But again, I just can't close some of them. It's just it's a lot. <laughs> I ended up getting the same amount, so I got their six drawers. These are actually three drawer cubes, but the Melmers are six drawers, so I got four of them, hoping that it'll be like around equivalent to the amount that I have here. And then there's also room for growth, but I feel like I probably should just declutter more polishes. So let me show you guys the Helmers. So here are the Helmers. Like I said, I did get four of them. They have six drawers each. So I've heard they're not too difficult to build. Actually, funny enough, one of my patrons just posted in our Facebook group that she got a Helmer and she put it together and she didn't have too much trouble. So I'm hoping I can do these by myself. Ryan also offered to help, but obviously he's not going to be in the vlog because he's not a huge vlog person. We're going to work on making these and then I'll update you. I don't think this is gonna be something that just happens in one day, to be honest. Let me actually go back to my face. Hold on. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't think this is something that I'm gonna do all today. It is a nice lazy Sunday, which gives me a good opportunity to do it, but it's just gonna be like a little bit each day. I think that's a lot easier for me to do because sometimes I give myself these projects and I like force myself to do it all in one day or in one go and then I procrastinate doing it for so long because I think I have to do it all in one day. So I, I really perform a lot better doing things in little baby steps. You know, if we build a couple of drawers today, I start moving some of the polishes like, or the drawers out, you know, like do a little bit day by day, but I am going to vlog all of it. So you guys will see all of it as it happens. And then I'm not gonna organize my nail polishes in this video. I'm probably gonna do another main channel video where I do the organization. That's something I've done, I think almost like every year. And that's just putting my nail polishes in rainbow order within each brand drawer. So I'm probably gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is probably declutter along the way. So yeah. I guess we may as well just get started. But before we do, I actually want to show you guys. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I posted. I was really excited because Vans, the shoe brand, came out with a collaboration of shoes with horror movies. And I'm a decent horror fan. I'm actually a fan of some, some horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so generic. But yeah, so there were a couple of shoes that I really wanted to buy. I was trying to decide between two of them. I couldn't really figure it out what I wanted to do. I asked you guys on Instagram, on my Instagram story, and a lot of you guys were like, buy them both. So I did. <laughs> So I'm gonna blame you guys for that, but I'm very excited. So I bought the ones that were low tops for The Shining and I bought high tops for Nightmare on Elm Street. And I think they're both really cool. So I'll show you guys. I didn't even like open the boxes yet because I wanted to wait to show you guys. <laughs> so yeah, here are the two boxes. So this is the low tops. I'm actually not a huge Vans person. I only owned one pair of Vans before this. I'm way more of a Converse person, but I just really love the designs. I really like these movies. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get them. So this is the Shining and they're low tops. Obviously they're not laced up, but it basically just says all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, which if you've seen the movie or read the book, you know what that's in reference to. And then these are the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, which I'm so excited about because I really like wearing high top shoes and I don't own any high tops from Vans. So here they are. They're so cool. They've got these little like blood flecks on them. And then so do the laces, which I think are awesome. So I'm really excited. I got them both in a seven and a half. But yeah, they're looking really cool. I actually want to do kind of like a video where I show you guys all of like the sneakers and combat boots and shoes and stuff that I have, because I feel like I have a lot of really cool shoes and I think you guys might appreciate it. So I don't know. Let me know if you're interested in that. But let me stop procrastinating and we can actually get started building these Helmers. This is actually really heavy. Oh, I got them in white, by the way. I feel like that's probably obvious because all of my furniture is white. This is really cool. All right, I need Ryan to help me, so I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, update. It's been like 30 minutes. We got the one drawer done and I have a few thoughts. Let me tell you. I feel like the quality checking at Ikea is terrible because four out of six of these drawers like didn't have the part 
in the right spot and we had to like move it, which was terrible. And I, I really, I don't like, I don't go halfway on these types of things. Like I, I have in the past, but I know better now. And I feel like I really put my all into making these. But like, even so, like this bottom drawer is stuck because like, I can't even get, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the bottom drawer is not easy to open and close. I also did not pull the tabs so if you can see there are like these little tabs on the side look at how much space you lose that's what one of my patrons was saying that you lose all this space my hair is in there don't mind that but you lose all this space if you have that tab and i need to be able to pull my drawers out fully anyway so probably not gonna build anymore today i'll give you guys an update the next time we have an update so yeah not not great <laughs> Hello guys, it is day two of Helmer building world. So I don't have any more updates from yesterday. We called it quits after the first one, but I feel like now going into Helmer number two, we have a little bit more knowledge about what to do. I feel like I'm still not thrilled with the quality in terms of like each drawer being the same. That bottom drawer just does not work. We tried everything and I realized that like one of the holes I don't know if I'm going to be able to describe it, but like one of the holes is too big. So like the little thing on the side is just always going to be loose and it just, it pulls down a little bit. Overall, I think the drawers look really nice. So I'm glad for that. They're also a little bit skinnier, but a little bit longer than the Melmers that I have. So it's going to be interesting placing them. I was just thinking it's actually going to be a little hard to get everything out. I want to vacuum obviously, and then putting everything back in. I'm like a little worried that I'm not gonna have enough room to kind of work with, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I will give you guys an update when I have more drawers built. We are having the actual hardest time doing this part. If you have ever done an Ikea Helmer before, I do not understand what we were doing wrong because you can literally see we're like digging into the sides here, trying to get these to snap in place. All of these people have these YouTube videos sort of like how to build an Ikea Helmer. And everyone's just like, yeah, and you just click, click it into place. That's not happening for us. We have like hammered it. We have tried to push this as hard as possible and it will not click into place. I have checked multiple forums and pictures and websites and stuff. And I know that we are using the correct one. This is the exact same thing that happened with the Ikea Helmer that we finished, except for we had to use a hammer to literally hammer this down so that it would go in. This is the correct side. That's what it says in the instructions. This is the correct side. We are doing it correctly. And for some reason, everybody's just like, yeah. And then you just, like somebody did it with one finger and was just like, snap it into place. That's not happening for us. <laughs> they must have changed the drawers because a lot of the videos and pictures I'm seeing are from like a long time ago. And these actually look a little bit different now. So I'm guessing they like changed the way that it's made a little bit. Here's another great example of why the QC on this is terrible. This, the, do you see that this little lip is too long? I don't know if it's, it's not focusing for some reason, but this little lip that's in here is too, you know what, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can really see it, is too long so that I can't even fit because when it's closed, look at how some of that little piece of lip comes out. I can't even, I can't even push this all the way in. This has happened on every drawer so far. Okay, update, we now have two drawers fully done, two to go. I gotta say, I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys all of the trials and tribulations we had with this, but let me tell you, I have to say at this point in time, I do not recommend these. They are more expensive than Melmers, which I know they don't make the Melmers anymore, but the Melmers were way easier to put together. And I feel like all the people who are like, oh, it's easy, like you guys definitely, got a different batch than us because I swear we watched videos and we were like our pieces don't even look like that like they look different I don't know anyway we're gonna go not build more furniture I'll be back maybe tomorrow <laughs> honestly I'll probably just build the other two and then follow up with you guys once I'm done and then we can get into the actual polish part of this hello guys it's been a little bit <laughs> since I last updated you it took us a really long time to build these helmers it's actually been I want to say it was like a couple of weeks actually but we finally have all of them built which I'm very excited about they're looking beautiful as beautiful as they can be but yeah I guess it's time to start cleaning out the nail polishes that are currently in that room move everything out so that I can vacuum 
around and just get everything ready to put the new drawers in. The current drawer situation in that room is actually worse than the last time you guys saw it. I did break one of the drawers when I was trying to get nail polishes out, so I'll show you guys. It's pretty rough. <laughs> but yeah, we have we have a lot, we have a lot to clean up. I really can't believe I'm exposing myself like this. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. But yeah, so this drawer right here. Oop, that was my knee cracking. This I just completely ripped off when I was trying to pull this out. I really just cannot close most of these drawers anymore. As you can see, they're, they're all just like bowing out. So definitely bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all of the drawers out. Then I'm going to move the empty husks. <laughs> I don't know what the word is for that. And then I'm going to start to move all the polishes into the new drawers once I set them up here. So it's definitely gonna be a lot. And I would have loved to do this in natural light, but I just haven't had time during the day to do this. You know, I've just had a lot to do. <laughs> and also, of course, we've got the whole floor nail polish situation, which is not great. I just literally cannot put any more stuff in these drawers. I guess we gotta just move on to the next step. I guess the first step really is to, to move everything on top, then start pulling out all the drawers, maybe put them on the guest bed, and then pull everything out, vacuum, and then put the new stuff in. So it's gonna be fun. I actually, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll tackle this tonight because it's already getting a little bit late. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, nope, tomorrow we have to go to a wedding, but maybe the day after that I can start pulling these drawers out. It's already so dark. I do have to say though, I don't think it'll take that long. It, I think it's just gonna be like one day of doing this. I know I said that I, I like to do things in steps, but in this case I think it's just gonna be pulling everything out, vacuuming. I keep saying that, but it's just very important that I vacuum because I don't get many opportunities to move these drawers. And and then putting the stuff in, I think that's all just gonna be a one day situation and then I can do my organizing or decluttering on a different day. So I really, I, I just feel like the hardest thing is gonna be finding the room to put everything. Cause I'm like looking at the bed right now, but I have a bunch of stuff on there. So I don't know, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> but I'll start with cleaning off that top row there and see if I can just move stuff for now and then hopefully get some stuff done tonight. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be harder than I imagined. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put everything into chaos and disarray because tomorrow I have to wake up early and go to this wedding. So maybe I should wait and just do all this stuff because I, I don't think this is gonna take a long time. I mean, I started doing it, it's going pretty quickly. I don't know, maybe I'll just wait on this too. So I guess I'll just follow up with you guys later. <laughs> anyway, side note, I did just get the advent calendar that I ordered in the mail. I ordered myself a matcha advent calendar and I ordered Ryan a coffee advent calendar for December. His has not arrived yet because it's coming from another country. Actually, I think mine was from Canada. <laughs> but yeah, I was actually kind of thinking about doing Vlogmas. I know I've mentioned it and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it because I feel like my life is not that interesting. So I feel like I wouldn't be doing it every day. Maybe I would vlog every day and then post like every other day and just have like two day vlogs. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Hello guys, it is another day. It's been a couple days. I haven't done anything. In fact, things have only gotten messier, <laughs> but I can finally procrastinate no more. We have had those four drawers sitting in the living room in front of the television, and it is finally time to actually start doing something. So I am going to start pulling the drawers out. I'm going to lay them around haphazardly across the room because I don't really have that much room to put them anywhere. And then I'm gonna start pulling the drawers out. I know I kept on saying I need to vacuum, which I definitely wanna do. So I'm gonna do all of that. I'm gonna get rid of all of the polishes that are on my floor, not get rid of them, but you know, organize them so that I can put them into the Helmers. So no procrastinating, let's get this done. <laughs> Bottom just fell out. It's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, literally, cannot even get this out. Look at this. 
They're all just falling out the bottom. Okay, 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 we get it. problem that I have right now, hi. <laughs> uh, the problem that I have right now is that I am running out of places to put the drawers so that I can take the rest of these out. But I'm already like, I'm sweating. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing a sweater for this. <laughs> Okay, update. I got everything out. I vacuumed this spot. Now Ryan's gonna carry in the new ones because I'm a little tired and sweaty. <laughs> Alright, here they are. I actually have room for one more, which is very nice, but I think I'll just put some storage stuff over there for now. Now I just have to fill these. So I'm not going to organize them today. I'm just going to fill the drawers and then I'll probably do an organization video on it, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So the question of the day is, will one full drawer of Melmer stuff fit in one Helmer drawer? So let's find out. <laughs> Folks, we have an answer. A little disappointed to say that one Melmer is not equivalent to one Helmer. The Helmer is smaller. So here are some China glazes. The drawer is full and I still have this many left. By the way, I know that there were a lot that needed to be shaken up. I just, I didn't do that, <laughs> but I will eventually. So I don't, I don't think everything's going to fit in here, to be honest. We've got a bunch to go. This is going to take a long time just to throw in there. army of Cirque polishes. Obviously they didn't all fit in one drawer because I used to use two and a half drawers, but man, this is just satisfying. <laughs> Hello guys, update. It's going a little slow, but we're we're making progress. I think I might declutter while I'm putting the polishes away because I'm realizing that I just don't have enough room, but I really don't need like 3000 bottles of nail polish. So I am going to declutter a few, but it's just going to be dupes. It's not going to be anything that I don't particularly like or anything. It's just going to be if I already have like a million of the same color, like I know I have so many Zoya pinks and I really don't even wear pink that often. So I don't think I need all of them. <laughs> so just stuff like that. Okay, update. I have been putting more and more in drawers. It's getting a little bit late now. I really, really don't have room for all of the polishes that I have, so I'm definitely decluttering a bunch of them. But basically, I'm just trying to decide which drawers are going to have which things because it just doesn't fit the exact same way as they used to. So I'm trying to give myself a two drawer limit, but there's definitely some overflow. Like for Cirque, I already have two full drawers, so I started a third, but I'm mixing it with other stuff. China Glaze, I have three full drawers and I I actually have more than that so I need to get rid of some of those but again I'm just gonna get rid of like dupes and stuff polishes that are really old so <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. Hello guys it's time for another update. Some potentially terrible news which is that I still have 11 drawers left to put away and these drawers are almost full so I, I we definitely need to go pick up another 
drawer. I decluttered honestly like 200 polishes and I still don't have room. These drawers are significantly smaller than the Melmers. I definitely didn't account for that. I I feel like I heard that the the Melmers were smaller, but maybe I just calculated it wrong because the Melmers are technically sets of three and the Helmers are sets of six. So I might have just completely messed up my math on that one. But yeah, I just, I don't have room for a lot of stuff. I mean, I had filled up three drawers of China Glaze and then I had more left over and I was like, I need to fit this in three drawers. So I decluttered a bunch of them and I just realized I have another full drawer of China Glaze that I need to put into the new Helmers. There's just not enough room. There's not enough room. And I'm even, I'm getting rid of so many. Like you guys wouldn't even believe how many I'm getting rid of. But yeah, either way, I think we might have to go to Ikea tomorrow because there's just no room. There's no room for anything. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna keep on going tonight, fill as many as I can, and then I'll update you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is the next day, day like 1 million of this adventure of switching over my nail polishes into new drawers. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on what the plan is. I'm currently not wearing any makeup. I'm wearing my workout clothes because I was just doing a little workout. I wanted to also go to the gym and do a little walking on the treadmill, but I think we're gonna go to Ikea first. So here's my plan of events for the day. I'm sure those of you guys who are just watching this for the organization are probably like what, what's going on here but I just want to be able to you know share with you guys a little bit more about my life and also I think I mentioned in this vlog at some point that I was thinking about doing vlogmas so I figured I could just make my vlogs a little bit less structured and maybe you guys will enjoy it I don't know just like being a part of my life hanging out with me day to day so I think our plan of events is go to Ikea buy another Helmer go to the gym Quick little, quick little 30 minute treadmill walk, you know, that high incline thing that everybody's talking about. Just wanna try it out. It did weights this morning and it felt really good, but I feel like I could like burn a little bit more steam, you know, like get a little bit more endorphins. So I wanna do that. Then we can build the drawers. I will finish my organization. So I'll tell you guys, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I've got nine drawers left that need to go in there. And now actually that I'm thinking about it, I don't think nine drawers worth of nail polish is going to fit in six drawers. But I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I am planning on keeping one set of six of the Melmer drawers. I'm gonna put it over there by the bed because I want to keep my bullet journal supplies in there. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of extra room because I don't have that much bullet journaling supplies. So I might put my gels over there or something. So I might do that because I, I just don't know if everything is going to fit. These drawers are not absolutely full right now, but I wanna save some room for new stuff coming in. I'm definitely also decluttering a lot. I got rid of a ton of polishes yesterday. I also did make some other changes, which is gonna be a little crazy. I know there are gonna be some people who are gonna be a little sad about this update, but I usually have a cotton ball drawer right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is now all of the stuff that I am going to be reviewing that I can't like reveal yet. This is obviously stuff that's fine, but like for the most part, I can't put everything on my top shelf because sometimes I get polishes that aren't available yet and I have to hide them. And I usually put them in my cotton ball drawer, but I just feel like it gets a little muddied up. So I moved the cotton ball drawer. I don't know if you guys know this actually, but I have an L-shaped desk and I have this little thing here that has extra supplies in it. I figured I would just put my cotton balls in the top drawer of this because this is, you know, under my desk. It's a good good spot for that. So I'm gonna fill this up. I just need to buy more cotton balls. I have my little Cicerone sticker here. It's actually a little patch, but I haven't put it on anything because I don't know where to put that. <laughs> I just like having this little patch. It's a, it's a weird fun fact about me that I'm actually weirdly proud of. But anyway, I guess we're going to head to Ikea now and then we will get the Helmer and hopefully we will also get some meatballs because I love the Ikea meatballs. We'll catch up with you soon. Maybe I'll bring you guys along to the Ikea adventure just for fun. By the way, I just checked the Ikea website to see if it was in stock. There's only one Helmer in stock in the Ikea that's like an hour away from us. So we are gonna drive there and we are going to hope that it is still there. I mean, I was thinking about maybe getting two, but obviously the decision has been made for me. So just gonna get the one. I feel like it wouldn't make sense necessarily for me to order it online again and pay the shipping, but I guess if there's none in stock, then that might be what we have to do. So let's just cross our fingers and hope. <laughs> Oh no, the 
actually have it in black. Oh no, what do we do now? So I got my meatballs. Well, that was a massive failure. We went to Ikea. They didn't have any of the Helmers. They had them in black. And then as we were walking out, I randomly saw a little Helmer box that was like tucked away by accident somewhere, but it ended up being a gray one, which the gray is just not gonna, like it, it wouldn't be subtle at all. It looks very different. And then on the way home, I tried to see if I could order one on their website and it said they are not currently shipping to me. So I have no idea what to do now. I guess I just have to wait for them to be back in stock in Ikea and then drive back there. So we're at sort of a stopping point right now. This is crazy. I don't know if I should end the vlog because I don't know how long it takes for Ikea stuff to come back in stock or if I should continue it. I guess it's just a matter of figuring out what to do. So I will update you guys. That is all for now. Hello guys. Okay, update. It is now later in the day. We went to the gym. We did our little walking treadmill thing, which by the way, I just want to say, I did look it up. Apparently it's not safe. I'm talking about, by the way, the 12... 3.30 thing where you go at a 12% incline for three miles an hour for 30 minutes. But I did read online that it's not safe to like jump into doing that immediately. It's not like good for your back. You know, look, look into it before you do anything. Ask your doctor. We did it at a lower incline because they said you should gradually increase your incline. So that's what we did. But anyway, I just showered and put on a bunch of face stuff, which is why my face is looking a little sticky. Yeah, I did look it up. Uh, apparently, there's no telling when this Ikea stuff is gonna be back in stock. They will not be shipping to my area. And I also looked and the closest location where I could pick it up is in Maryland, which I'm not gonna do. I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here. This will just be, I guess, the part one to it. And then we will come back and we will do the rest another day. I feel like I'm doing so many part ones to videos and not doing part twos, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. But yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing an organization video eventually. As soon as I have everything, I'm gonna organize it. So that'll be fun. Like I said, potentially a couple of times, I do wanna kinda of do Vlogmas, not every day, but I have a lot going on in December that's gonna be fun. So I feel like I kinda of wanna take you guys with me. So potentially that. So if you're not already subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.